In a small village deep in the mountains lived a young man named Hiroshi. Hiroshi was known for his restless mind, always filled with thoughts and worries. He often found it difficult to find inner peace, and this affected every aspect of his life. Hiroshi longed to find a way to lighten his soul and find tranquility amidst his chaotic thoughts. One day Hiroshi heard about a wise monk living in a remote temple atop a nearby mountain. This monk was renowned for his deep understanding and ability to guide those seeking a spiritual path. Attracted by the stories about him, Hiroshi decided to go to the temple to learn how to control his mind. The journey to the temple was difficult, with steep and winding roads that seemed never-ending. Hiroshi's patience helped him persevere, and after days of tireless effort, he finally reached the temple. He was welcomed by a wise old monk. Hiroshi bowed respectfully and said, I have come here to seek guidance. I want to cleanse my mind and find inner peace. Can you teach me this wisdom? The monk smiled gently and gestured for Hiroshi to sit beside him. Cleansing the mind is not an easy or quick task, he said softly. It is a gradual process that requires patience, discipline, and enlightenment. Are you willing to embark on this journey? Hiroshi nodded enthusiastically and with hope. Under the monk's guidance, Hiroshi began his practice. The first lesson the monk taught Hiroshi was the art of mindfulness. He taught Hiroshi to sit silently by a rushing stream and observe the water without judgment or analysis. At first, Hiroshi found it difficult to keep his mind from wandering, but over time, he began to notice the intricate patterns of the flowing water how it moved over rocks and overcame obstacles. As Hiroshi practiced mindfulness more and more, he realized that the thoughts in his head were like the rushing water. They come and go, sometimes calm and peaceful, sometimes turbulent and chaotic. He learned to observe his thoughts without getting caught up in them simply letting them pass through his consciousness like leaves floating down the stream. The second lesson the monk taught Hiroshi was the art of letting go. They climbed to the top of the mountain, and the monk led Hiroshi to a beautiful garden with vibrant flowers and lush greenery. In the center of the garden stood a magnificent cherry blossom tree, its branches swaying gently in the breeze. Observe the cherry blossom, the monk said to Hiroshi. See how it stands firm and proud, yet sways gracefully with the wind. Learn from the tree and practice the art of letting go. Hiroshi watched as the cherry blossom tree gently released its petals to the wind, one by one. He realized that holding on to thoughts and emotions only brought pain and prevented him from finding peace. Each time a petal fell, Hiroshi felt a sense of relief, as if a burden had been lifted. He understood that clinging to thoughts and feelings only caused suffering and hindered him from finding inner peace. Hiroshi faced many challenges during his practice, and sometimes, his mind was overwhelmed with fear and confusion. But the monk always guided him with gentle words, reminding him to return to the present moment. One day, while Hiroshi was meditating, a powerful storm swept over the mountain. Thunder roared and rain poured down relentlessly. Hiroshi felt a wave of panic rise within him, his mind becoming a whirlwind of fear and anxiety. He ran to the monk for comfort and guidance. The monk greeted Hiroshi with a serene smile 
motioned for him to sit together in meditation and guided him to remain calm amidst the surrounding storm. As Hiroshi closed his eyes and focused on his breath, the monk began to speak softly, his words carrying the weight of profound wisdom. Embrace the storm within you as nature embraces the passing storms, he said. Observe the storm of thoughts and emotions without resistance or judgment. Let them rise and fall naturally, like the storm outside. Listening to the monk's words, Hiroshi gradually realized that the key to clearing his mind was not to push away or escape from his thoughts, but to acknowledge and accept them fully. Days turned into weeks, months went by, and Hiroshi diligently practiced the monk's teachings. He found solace in the simplicity of each moment, the delicate beauty of a blooming flower, the gentle whisper of the wind, and the stillness of his own breath. As time passed, Hiroshi's mind became more open and serene. His worries and doubts gradually diminished, replaced by a deep sense of inner harmony. He no longer identified with his thoughts, releasing they were fleeting phenomena that appeared and disappeared. One day as Hiroshi was meditating, his mind clear and his heart light, the monk approached him with a peaceful smile. Hiroshi, you have come a long way on your journey, the monk said. But remember, the true essence of emptiness lies not in the absence of thoughts, but in the awareness that transcends them. It is found in the stillness beneath the chaos of life, Hiroshi nodded, his eyes filled with gratitude, understanding that he had learned to clear his mind not by eliminating thoughts, but by nurturing deep presence and stillness, allowing thoughts to flow naturally without resistance. Hiroshi bid farewell to the monk and began his descent down the mountain, carrying the wisdom and practices he had learned. He understood that the journey to clear the mind was not a destination, but a lifelong path. Returning to his village, Hiroshi became an inspiration to others seeking inner peace and clarity. He shared with them the lessons of mindfulness, letting go, and facing the inner storms, guiding them on their own journeys of self-discovery. Years passed, and Hiroshi's name spread far and wide, with people from distant lands seeking his guidance. Hiroshi humbly shared his knowledge and understanding, always reminding them that the true power lay within themselves. In his later years, Hiroshi sat under the cherry blossom tree, reflecting on his journey with a serene smile. He closed his eyes, feeling the gentle breeze and the falling cherry blossoms around him. At that moment, he realized that the journey to clear the mind was a continuous dance with oneself. Life was a dance of acceptance and profound inner peace. And so, the story of Hiroshi, the young man who became a symbol of tranquility, spread throughout the world, reminding everyone of the inner strength to clear the mind and discover the boundless peace within us all.